What is up guys? Welcome back to M3 Wood. We are continuing our series. Me and the little man. Playing from 50. Playing from 50 now, that's right. So this is the Operation 36 Scramble. If you remember back on video one, which is the link right up here and down below in the description, we played from 25 and we finished what? Do you remember? 14. We finished 14 under through nine holes. So the goal in Operation 36 is to start at 25 if you can shoot par or better which is 36 you get to back up uh Abe, this is what you do for your lessons correct and what yards are you on by yourself 150. 150 so you mean to tell me that we better not fail here on 50. yeah so we're going to be scrambling we're actually going to try our goal is to try and beat our 25 or come come within a couple strokes yeah maybe hit that double digit mark at least okay Double digit, we're gonna go for 10 under. Double digit, double digit under, 10 under. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna go double digit under. Uh, we're gonna start off on the back nine. So we're gonna be on hole 10 out here at Timber Ridge from 50 yards. Let's see if we can't stick one close. All right, here is Abe from hole one. A little bit of wind in the face. You probably can hear it. Uh, the pin is at the back, plenty of green to work with. He got underneath it and the wind held it up. We have got to commit. We've got to commit. We're on the green, but we got a long putt for our eagle technically. So we can't be too upset, but that's just really not good attempts from either Abe and I. So we'll see what we can't do when we get up there. With this program, Operation 36, is that it is built to help kids work on their short game first, and then as they back up, begin to develop. So ideally, uh, if you start out at a young age, you begin to learn to hit shots from around the green, and then you move further back. Now, unfortunately, Abe and I both did not display that right here. And now we are left with a 45 foot uphill putt. Uh, so we're gonna have to get something close so we can make sure we get a bird. So here is Abe. And that is fantastic. That's a great lag putt, buddy. Yay. Feel good about that. We're a comfortable birdie. Good bird. All right, so that's the beauty, Abe. Uh, we hit two pretty mediocre subpar chips at best. Yeah. But when you can lag putt and give yourself a really good, easy look at birdie, you know? Yeah. People ask, and uh, we had a cart talk about this one time, What's the one thing that beginners should work on? Uh, and I think I said putting. If you can lag putt, you cut down your strokes tenfold. I can't tell you the number of high school players that we have come out and they end up three or four putting greens. That's, that's not gonna get it done at the high level or even just the weekend level if you're out just hanging out with your buddies. So that was a great putt from you, Abe. We got our feet wet, we got a birdie. Now let's start going. Now let's keep this train rolling. On to hole two. Much better shot. Gotta go. That's much better shot though. You still compressed it down just short. That's much better. We'll take that. Much better. You take those. You take those. You take those. All right, we are off the green, Abe. This is your chip. We have yet to really do anything great. It's only hole two, but we're still kind of warming up, getting ready. Let's take something closer and get a nice, easy tap in bird. That took a weird... 
makes me a little nervous putting this, but I'm gonna have to. Ooh, biting your fingernails about it. Wah, wah, wee, wah. This is for bird. Pushed it out. Oh, easy, <laughs> easy par from 50. Easy par. Chain. It don't matter how bad it looks, Abe. That's still a birdie in the books. We haven't looked good the first two holes, and we still are two under. Take positivity. Positivity. Boy, I got stuck in that word. I didn't know how to finish it. All right, so let's get something good. Let's get a good look. A good look. There we go. I like that swing. A little more aggressive. Yeah, a little more aggressive. Get up and bounce and roll. Perfect distance. Love it. A little more aggressive. Now we go. Maybe not. You never know. <laughs> Let's knock down a putt for Eagle. We're walking up, you can see our balls, both right there. Uh, two different ways to get there. I flew mine and Abe ran his up on the front side of the green. Oh, let's get the flag out. End over end. I can never move, I just do it through the music. Make the crowd. That was the line. Easy comfy birdie. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh my god. Alright folks, we're walking off hole three. That's a little bit better looking birdie. Slightly missed eagle and we'll take the tap in birdie. Three under through three. Let's keep it going. Alright Abe. Hey, we got our first little tester here because we're coming out of the rough right now. You know? Really got to commit to swinging down on it. Here we go. We got water to the right. Hey, picked it really nice. Beauty, sit. Ah, that's just the rough taking away all the spin, but that was a great shot. Really good shot. We got Abe right here. He's lining it up. We got about 35 feet. Uh, see if he can't throw something in real close. A nice little lag pop for a nice comfy birdie. Yeah. If you lag it up, we get a nice easy birdie. But if you knock it in, we'll take that big bird. That is a perfect lag putt. Now, I'll tell you this too, Abe. It is often said that in a scramble, the first person's job is to lag it up and let everyone else be aggressive. And so far, you have done that perfectly. Did you know that was the first person's job? Yeah, you told it to me like three years ago. Oh, I told you like three years ago. He's like a vault baby locked down. You know what the second person's not supposed to do? Do that. Leave it short. <sighs> you got us right up here for a comfy, easy birdie, and I leave it five feet short. Disgusting. Disgusting. Great bird. Good job, Abe. I tell you what, my partner is doing his job, lagging it up, and that is awful scramble putting. If I'm gonna go second and leave it five feet short, we may need to switch roles. We may need to have you be aggressive and let me be the lag putt. Either way, fourth hole, walking off, four down. We haven't had an actual, like, really good look at Eagle, which goes to show that we probably could work on our short game a little bit. Um, that is one of the things that this Operation 36 does, is it really shows where your weak areas are. Um, and right now, Abe and I both know that our weak areas are wedges. So hopefully we can survive till we get a little further back and hit the big sticks. You know what I mean? Well, we're four under th through four. Not that happy about it. We haven't gotten a good look at Eagle. 
but I think we might get it this hole. Pulling up here to the tee box, Abe found a golf ball. Oh. And you can probably guess what that was. Well, I guess we all know what ball that was. Nobody likes nitro. Oh, okay. He's an angry elf. Abe, you want to share with the viewers? Oh, it's the ball that should not be named? I think that means it was a nitro. All right, so here we go. We are on hole five, which is technically, hold on, because we're on the back nine. So what would this be then? 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is hole 14, and we are four under. We haven't been playing really well. We do have some wind coming off the left, but it shouldn't bother us that bad from 50 yards. Oh, hey, went right at it. Took a rough bounce in the beginning. It's going to trickle down. This green's really slanted towards the left. I like the aggressiveness though. So yeah, we got about a 20 footer lag putt coming out of this fringe. That's the pin, that's Abe. Okay, a little short. We got a lot of meat left on that one. See if I can't get one closer. Oh, you think so? Just in time to catch the ball drop for a birdie. Maybe. Oh, we had a little bit of wind difficulties there. Like we said, it is windy out. Uh, but as it fell over, I was hitting. And uh, it did fall in and it did go in for a bird. I believe, Abe, I believe you caught it as the ball dropped in. Hopefully. Yeah. So that means that we are now five under through five. On to the next one. All right, Abe, we are five under through five. This is a, hold on, before you hit. This is known to be one of the toughest greens on the course. So this green is very slanted. Now, luckily for us, if you take a look at where the pin is, it's right near the front. So if we can just get something to dribble on, like kind of what you've been doing, we should have a pretty good look at Eagle. Okay, just, can I have that matching hole for practice? <laughs> oh yeah, work, work those hips, baby. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. got really cute with it i like the approach just a little too cute three pointer all right so we are walking up to the green we're gonna play ace ball he's sitting just short uh i got a little aggressive um and i didn't hit it very well and it ran off the back so yet again we are in scramble mode for birdie see if we can get a comfy birdie here is Abe, still short of the pain, which is not a bad place to be on this hole, but the wind is a howl. Not, oh, good run at it. Really good run, you take that all day. Now we got a tricky putt coming back down. When you hit that three? Yeah. Oh, like a three in birds. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. also the woods. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. Uphill, bit of a bender still. Abe's got my putter in hand. Ah, blame it on the putter. Blame it on the putter. It's still on the putter. I mean, the putter sucks. How it has do you to be. I don't. Whoopie pies. Whoopie 
whoopie pies. <laughs> whoopie pies. Probably one of the most depressing things in golf right there. Now, as we walk off, right, the beauty of it is our goal is still to shoot par. Right, Abe? Yes. So, even though we're upset that we took a par, uh, I think we're upset because we know we're far better than pars from 50, but we still, we still got our goal, right? So, we got to still stay positive and battle through it, right? I hope not. <laughs> yeah. So we're going on to the next hole, hole 16. See if we can't get back on not the par train, but maybe the birdie or eagle train. We all know what happened on the last hole. Yeah. We all saw it. We were there. You and I were there. Let's correct it a little bit, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. So here we are, Abe, on hole 16. We're five under from 50. We need to get on our horse. Go. We need to get on our horse if we want to reach double digits because we are well behind the pace. Uh, Abe, we got to get up and down for bird. Really good shot. Really good. We can make that for bird. Carrying the squad. All right, here's Abe for his birdie. This will be a solo bird. Oh, just broke down. Here you go. Got it. Jeez, that is such a wavy putt. And we're back on the birdie train. So if we want to reach our double digits, we got two holes left. We're six under. We got to go eagle, eagle. Think we can do it? Oh yeah, can we do it? Yes. <laughs> Tried to switch out the club and play a little punch shot, didn't you? I'll tell you what, we find ourselves just short of the green a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yep, yep. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. No! Get in the hole. Alright, we're back there. It held up a lot more than I thought, but we're back there. Put it eagle, let's go. Alright, here we go. I really thought that I was gonna be much further back than what I actually finished. We still got about a 15, 20 footer, but it's probably one of our, it's our second best attempt or look at it that we've had. Ah, oh, great putt, easy bird, comfy bird. Comfy bird. Yep, got it, bang. Get in the hole. That is a eagle. Let's get it going again on the last hole to finish at 10. We're at eight under right now. All right, Abe. We are on the last hole. We're at eight under. We've secured the par. The only thing left to do is try and go eagle hunting. So let's see what you can't do. Hole 18 out here at Timber Ridge. Probably one of the signature holes. Not probably. Is the signature hole. Uh, from the tips, it's a drivable par four with water making danger. From 50 yards, it's just a chip and a putt. Go. Get up. All right, we're below the hole. That's not a bad shot. The green is slanted towards us. Not a bad shot. We can get that. We can get that. We can get that. Well, we got options. As we walk up to the green, Abe's going to hit his for fun, but we are going to go to my hole, my ball. Uh, even though Abe's was uphill, so right there you can see he could be aggressive and still guarantee the birdie, but we don't want a birdie, do we, Abe? No. We're already going to we're already going to get our par score. So this is pretty much like we're just going for the make cuz even if we take a quadruple double bogey, whatever, that's not even a thing. Yeah. <laughs> an, an octobal bogey. Then we're still finishing par. If we finish in an October, October, <laughs> that's not even a thing. Oh my! 
my goodness. How did that ball not break in? You're gonna call. Got it. Get in. All right, we finish on with the birdie. Both sides of the hole. You went above it, I went below it. Easy bird. Easy. All right, Abe. <laughs> there you go up up there. We are walking off the last hole. Yeah? Yeah. And we got a birdie. Yeah. And we narrowly, narrowly ended up missing our eagle. You went above it, I went below it. Yeah. 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 Lots of yeahs. Yeah. So we actually ended up shooting 900 through nine, which isn't bad considering how poorly we played. I mean, we legit only had like one or two good looks at Eagle. So it was a massacre out here for the M3 Wood boys from 50 yards in the scramble, but we still got our goal, which means we back up to what for the next video? A hundo. And I'll tell you what, we're going to bring a little bit better A game there, aren't we? Eagle game. So we are backing up to 100. Uh, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, they need to do what, Abe? Smash that like bucket, subscribe, share with some friends, spread the word. Let's have a good time out here on the golf course. Check you guys later. Hey, who said I can never move? All right, Abe, the wind's picking up. Cause I feel a storm a coming. Oh, oh, oh.